What is up guys? Leon Harris here to stream episode 5 of The Rise of Leon Harris here on WWE 2K22. In the background here, I've got myself a nice cup of green tea with lemon. Something to sell my system here. I don't think those tacos hit right this morning. Stomach's feeling a little off. I would have made peppermint tea. That usually helps sell and release all the you know you know what out of me but green tea i haven't had green tea in a minute i remember like i used to drink green tea like before i would go to work because had, we had like a little shop area and i had green tea with lemon i usually did when i was sick like i mean like mucus sick not like stomach sick i'm not sick right now it's just like my stomach feels a little off those bur not burritos, those tacos. It just they were delicious, but I don't have the runs yet. But it's it's getting there. I think this is gonna loosen it up to come out smoothly. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, let's go ahead and get on with the stream. Social media. What we got? Cameron Grimes is the greatest superstar to ever wear a hat. Now that would be John Cena. Dun, 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 dun. All right, yes, better luck next time. Roll Mendoza. Ha ha. Oh, that's the weirdo. <laughs> he was talking about us when it came to the um, BCW show between me and um, Chase. I know I told you DMZ soup that I didn't care one way or another, but I lied. Okay, I'm happy to make you happy, buddy. Let's go ahead and clear these messages. What we got? I had to bounce early but heard the good news that you signed with NXT you're going great yep mm -hmm. uh, hey thanks for doing that match turns out the XX I brought are a big Damian Priest fans so they really enjoyed seeing you lose to him oh so it kind of worked out potential North American Championship opportunity for you if you're interested ooh not yet First, have to win a triple threat match, then you get to face Priest for his time. Ooh. Let's do it. Let's fucking go, guys. We already got a title opportunity. Let's fucking go. Continue on. The bounty. Okay. Uh. Yeah, my Star Wars knowledge is not as good as it used to be. Um. For God's sake, I know there's nerds that would lose their minds that I can't remember who the bounty hunter is. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and give up, because I know there's a lot of Mandalorian fans out there. <laughs> and calm down. I can't remember anyone's name right now. In Star Wars, it's a bounty hunter. I remember the helmets, though. I know Sasha Banks was on the Mandalorian show. Oh, God. Like, the first name that's coming to mind is Count Dooku, but that's not a fucking bounty hunter. I'm just going to shut up. <laughs> this, this, this... The amount of people that would be ready to yell at me right now. <laughs> oh, God. The following contest is a triple threat match. Making his way to the ring from Virginia. Uh. Weighing in at 240 pounds. Leon Harris. Ah, this tea is really good. The soup. Leon Harris. Two up, two down, baby. Let's go and win this normal contenders match. Classy man, ready to whoop some ass. Oh shit. Timothy Thatcher. He just recently had a match with Daniel Bryan, or Bryan Danielson on AEW. I missed it, but I saw pictures from it. Should check that out. From Sacramento, California, weighing in at 225 pounds, Timothy Thatcher. I have a lot of respect for this man. Like, I, I'm a Matt Wrestling fan, so like, when it comes to his match, it's Timothy Thatcher versus Biff Busick, CZW, it may have been the Dojo Wars, it may not have, do not quote me, but definitely Biff Busick versus Timothy Thatcher, good shit. I've never seen him face Drew Gulak, but I gotta look into that. Like, when he was in NXT, I did not take the time to appreciate him in NXT, but I've appreciated him when I look at his old matches. So, like, one of, one of these days on my vacation, I need to take the time to just watch NXT. 
during like these darker times. Oh shit, Dominic Dijakovic. Dijak. From Kingsboro, Massachusetts, weighing in at 270 pounds, Dominic Dijakovic. You know, like, he has all that Croatian stuff on him. And he's from Massachusetts. Like, I recently was Google. Like, I mean, like, is he actually, like, Croatian or something? Like, I didn't. See, I was Googling it recently trying to figure out, like, is that, like, the legit descent he's under? Because it just seemed random. I ain't fixing my eyes on shit, but I knocked the hell out of you. But, like, I don't know. I have no problem with it. It's just, like, his gimmick. He's an athlete. But, like, like when he used to have this, it's just, like, is he just trying to represent his heritage? But, like, with no accent? Like, because, like, Apollo Crews... Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, he hit me. I thought he was gonna hit Timothy. Fuck. But like, you know with Apollo Cruz, he's Nigerian. And he started talking in that dumbass accent. You know? It really confused me that Dijak just didn't talk in like a specific accent with this like look about him. I mean, Ron Simmons, when he did the whole Black Panther thing, and he was wearing all the, like, I guess you could say African colors, he ain't talking in an accent, but, I mean, it was the Black Panther, so I, I guess, whatever. Moving on. I'm trying to think of another person that's, like, of a certain descent, but they didn't talk in an accent, but they have an American accent. I'm trying to think of somebody else. I mean, Booker T, as King Booker, and talking in, like, a goofy English accent to sound like a royalty king. Like, that's that's literally goes with the gimmick. But, like, this dude is full decked out from head to toe in, like, his heritage and doesn't talk in an accent. Like, that's different. I'll shut up. Let's just focus on the match. I'm gonna have to look up that Brian Danielson in... Thatcher match. I know it was good. I don't even have to see it. I know it was good. I also need to look up the uh, Konosuke. I think that's how you say his name. Konosuke uh, Takeshita versus Brian Danielson on AEW. I don't really like Tony Khan, but I definitely like the fact that they embrace professional wrestling the way they do. They put on those matches that the indie fans really want to see. With respect to professional wrestling. Not saying WWE doesn't do that, but it's more entertainment based and character wise compared to like AEW. Which is kind of AEW's failure sometimes with entertainment, because like they're kinda all over the place. And they you do you at one point they were just utilizing ex WWE people. I think well now they have nothing but a new generation of people, so they all have characters about them. Because the fans have embraced them, but it's whatever. I'm just rambling, I'm running my mouth here. I'm like so 50 50 with AEW. I've been like that since, what was it, 2019? I mean, who wouldn't? Like, I grew up watching TNA. And I knew of the Monday Night Wars. So I remember, like, I think my mom, she, like, bought Dish TV. And, like, I had that WWE 24-7 for a little bit. And that's how I knew of the Monday Night Wars. So I knew of WCW and TNA when it was on TV regularly. I'm trying to focus on the match a little bit. This is actually a good match so far. We're just kind of just brawling here. I'm glad I designed my guy the way I did. Because he literally just has nothing but character. He fits in with these guys right now. He, he fits like he's... Oh, shit. Did he reverse my fucking signature? You bastard. Let me focus. This is literally risking my opportunity at the title. Ah. 
anyways yeah so like with everything with tna i mean even like with other brands that wwe has been at war with we've got shows like freaking oh my god now i can't remember the one in the 80s that andrea giant showed up on i just watched the documentary on that recently i think it was like somewhere on vice tv but um hold on trying to focus on the match too while i'm rambling about wrestling lucha underground was at war with wwe at one point and they kind of fucked themselves associating themselves with like impact wrestling a little bit but really lucha underground just made everyone on that show more famous to go everywhere else so you can't really be that upset but it was at war with wwe for a little bit like a lot of shows i kind of try to talk shit on wwe thinking they could take over and they failed especially like shows like tna like I just recently got, I went to Second and Charles and got this old TNA DVD. Hold on, fuck! It's not over. It's not fucking over. Get the fuck up, Leon. Dude, I'm about to start using weapons. I don't give a fuck. Get the fuck up, bro. Damn, get up, get up now, now. All this dramatic bullshit, shit. Get up. Fuck. I'm getting competitive now. It's pissing me off. <laughs> Fuck this shit. Ah, oh, shit. Fuck you. Ah. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, shit. Got your ass. Tap, bitch. Tap. Ah, ah, no more contender. All right. So my, well, to finish my rambling, like a lot of shows have really tried to go head to head with WWE, winner, and they failed. A lot of them have failed. So with AEW really trying to push for that, I, I think they should just chill the fuck out. Just be their own thing. I mean, that's what they said from the beginning when I was following AEW with their documentaries. They're saying, like, they're just trying to be a... What were they saying? Like, um... Alternative product or some shit like that. And they've done it. It took them years to do it, in my opinion. But, like... I haven't heard anything. I take that back. Ever since Triple H became, you know... Uh... Head of creativity or whatever. What's up? New challenger for my title. Let's fix that. Offering 50k bounty to take out DMV soup. I'll even provide equipment to get the job done. Remember my old nightstick? What old nights? Okay. See, now... Now I want to do some research on what's up with Damien Priest's nightstick. I don't know about that. But you got... I will fuck... Was it Manny? What's his real name? The dude from Saudi Arabia. I will fuck him up. Roderick Strong, that's a challenge. Escobar, that's a challenge. But that KSA Manny motherfucker, yeah, he will get his ass handed to him. Let's see what I'm going to face. Yeah, let's go ahead. This is ECW. Like, they technically were a part of the Money Night War, but they were doing their own thing. They were an alternative product. Of course, they talked shit on WCW and WWF, and they lost the war. They got fucking bankrupt, but still. In a way, they just did their own thing. Last week, you earned the opportunity to face Damian Priest for his North American Championship. However, after the match, Priest announced a $50,000 bounty for anyone who could successfully take you out. How have you been dealing with this situation? Look, it's clear that Damian Priest knows he can't beat me. So this was the only solution he could come up with to hold on to his championship. But it's not going to work. So far, no one's even attempted to cash in on the bounty. And that tells me that just like Priest, the rest of the NXT locker room wants no part of me. So it's been business as usual. If anyone does want to try to cash in, I'll consider it a warm up for Priest. And if not, I'm ready either way. Strong words. 
I was expecting an attack. They did a fucking fantastic job on Kayla Braxton, though. That's a fine-ass woman. But, like, her character looks great. I love the graphics on this game. It's it's pretty awesome. I'm excited for 2K23. I mean, it's going to be basically the same shit, but, like, the amount of improvements from this game into 2K23 is going to be off the charts, bro. Mmm. We put this shit down. We're sipping on my tea in your hood. What the fuck is up? Oh, shit. Nah, nah, bro. Nah. I'm about to fuck you up. 50k my ass. 50,000 on my head is disrespect. Get your ass up here. Let's go. Roddy, get up here. You were never undisputed. Now let's go. A bitch. Fake ass Dean Malenko. Come here. Ugh. Come here. You think you can attack me? Bitch. Diamond mine my ass with your horrible acting. Come here. Mmm. Bitch. Oh, shit. Okay. Okay. Now, come here. Oh, you think you can hit German suplexes? I can too, motherfucker. Motherfucker. Oh, shit. Did that hurt? Oh, I think this is worse. Tell your friends about me, bitch. Hit you with this chair, too. Come on. Man, I'm inspired by Fit Finley with this shit. Ah. Ah. Bring back the hardcore championship, motherfucker. Get you with that hardcore Holly. Bye. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. How'd that feel? That's crazy. Ah. Shouldn't have fucked with me. It's crazy. Let's go ahead and just climb up here real quick. I'm gonna make sure this uh, leaves a mark. I'm sending a message. Call me vengeance. Yeah, get your ass up here. Nah, I taunt you. You don't taunt me. I'm ready for you. Come here. Punk ass. Come here. What the fuck? There you go. You didn't sell my move. It was a part of the script. Hit it again. All right. I'm I'm scheduled to win this. Oh hell yes. Oh yeah. All right, buddy. It's time for you to go away. Come here. The start of your ending. Bye. There's no such things as halfway crooks. Scared to death. Scared to look. Bitch. Keep your ass out my motherfucking shadow. That's all I know. If it wasn't clear before, it is now. It's a target on your back. Yeah, no shit. A lot better than that. In fact, don't fraud a strong head in NXT UK. I'm going to the UK. Ooh. What the fuck? So you're still sending Roderick after me? I threw him off of a fucking balcony. Okay. Whatever. He's trying to let me. Just, oh lord. This is about to be a murder scene again. Let's go loading the screen. I might make another cup of tea. This is pretty good. Oh, Gato. What you got for me? Oh, you motherfucker. 
Okay, okay. Alright. Cheat shot, huh? I got you. It's just me and you, so... Don't worry. I got you. Don't worry. Oh, okay, backbreaker. What the fuck? <laughs> that was a glitch. Oh, shit. All right. What the fuck? Okay, I can't reverse the leg drop, but you give me the option to reverse that bullshit. Oh, this game stresses me out sometimes. Yo! <laughs> the most random fucking moves are not reversible. What the fuck? Fake ass Hulk Hogan? Ah! Oh, son of a bitch. Look. Just let me just let me up real quick, alright? You had your turn. Bitch. Oh god. Ah. Alright, that's fine. That's fine. It's okay. Ah, belly to belly. Now I got you in my fucking crosshairs, motherfucker. Ah, elbow drop. Come here. Yes, sir. Oh, I think that hurt. I think that hurt more. Oh, God. How's your face feel? Uh huh. Ah, oh, right on top of your head. That's crazy. I like how things just turned around that quickly. Oh shit. Oh god. Oh. Okay. Nope. 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 Get off me, motherfucker. Yes, sir. Uh oh. Ha ha. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh shit. I thought you did something, huh? Did you not see that hardcore match? You saw what I did to Roderick Strong? Think I won't do that to you? Ah, oh, shit. Maybe I should stop talking shit. I don't need no damn resiliency after that bullshit. Bring it on, bitch. Ah. No. Fuck you. Ah. Dick. I know you're not down. I gotta keep beating your ass. That's fine by me. Oh, shit. Uh oh. Uh oh. Nope. Motherfucker. Ah. Oh, yeah. How'd your head feel? Oh, shit. That was weak as hell. Come here. Equalizer. Ah. Oh, it's crazy. Come here. No, come here. Ah, crossface. Fuck, 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 fuck a damn duck. Ah, asshole. Think you're fucking slick, huh? Oh, shit. Yeah, it looks like you are. Congrats. Sweet Jesus. Ah, all right. Ah. Equalizer. Boom, bitch. Right in the middle of the ring. Yes, sir. All right, send your hit squad on me. Here is your winner, Leon Harris. 
swear to God. If you send that Manny motherfucker after me, it's over for him. He ain't never going back to WWE. Those are the only ones that can actually do something to me. <laughs> I'm trying to remember that guy's... Oh, Mansoor. I just remember his name. His name is Mansoor. Well, Mansoor ain't doing shit to me at the end of the day. And I'm going to make another cup of green tea at some point. After the stream. It's time to win that North American title, though. Yes, sir. Dying. Doubling the bounty to... Okay. Oh, shit. Oh, no. This might actually hurt. So, it's funny how this came full circle. I had a... I had a match with <laughs> Danny Birch, then Oni Lorcan. Now I have to face both of them. All right. Don't you know I had a dream being The Rock and Stone Cold? Like, <laughs> I can kick your asses. I got you. At least they didn't send Mansoor after me. He was the least likely to do anything. They knew who would be the weakest link. I stuttered a lot through that. Oh shit! What the fuck? Oh, knock him out. Oh, that was an easy day for me. Thank you very much. What the fuck? Yo, he traveled in midair to catch me. That is bullshit. Why am I still down? <laughs> Fuck off of me. Oh shit. Fuck you. DT, hurry up. No, you stupid bitch. God fucking damn it. Get off of me. Oh my god. Get up. Get up now. This is going to be a shitty match for me. Ugh. If I don't do something about this now. I need to grab that chair. Like, now. <laughs> they gave me finishers, at least, but still. Oh my god. Fuck yeah. Hurricane Arana. Let's fucking go. Get that fucking chair in your hand. Oh my god. Get in the ring. Just get the fuck in the ring. Oh, I'm about to get a little hyped, guys. I'm sorry for all the language, but I'm getting pissed by the game. <laughs> my fucking god. My target was on him. Like, the game pisses me off when it does dumb shit like this. Come here. Well, oh, he's out. That's crazy. All I had to do was once. Come here, little bitch. Come here. All this to face Damian Priest, dumbass. What the fuck? All right. Wise guy, huh? Come here. Uh, take that back to Damien for me. Okay, I thought that would be it. That would have been a great ending line to this. Ah, uh, bitch. Come here. Now take this. Oh, for fuck goddamn sake. Sick of your shit, bro. Uh, uh, I'm getting annoyed. Come here. Just just come here. Put me through all this bullshit. Oh my god. You are petty. You are petty. Just because I kicked your ass in my showcase, this is how you act. You stupid bitch. Oh my god. 
Oh my god. I'm getting pissed off now, man. This game is starting to really get on my nerves with how it fucking does things. Like, literally... Oh, you little... Oh, I'm pissed now. I'm about to fuck you up. Now, nah, let me get that shit. Now I'm mad. Now I'm fucking mad. Come here. Think you're doing something? Come here, CZW world champ. Ah, oh, shit. Alright, motherfucker. You hit like a bitch. Fuck. Come here. Punk ass. You stupid motherfucker, bro. This is probably gonna make me lose. Ugh. I'm getting, I'm getting fucking pissed. What the fuck, man? I'm cutting it close as fuck right now. They're pissing me off with this game right now, man. Now fuck you. No, nah, man, that's fucked up. Bruh, what the fuck? <sighs> oh my god. Like, fuck you. <laughs> this is getting stupid now, man. Ugh. Hit it, for God's sake, yes. Oh, I was fucking getting fucking mad. I was <laughs> sweating over here, man. That's why he called me the motherfucking soup. We fucking did it, guys. We did it. I was getting so fucking pissed. This this video is definitely not meant for kids. I don't think any of them are, but yeah. Oh. <laughs> you got me going now. My feet are sweating. <laughs> oh. I gotta calm down real quick. <laughs> oh my god. Ugh. Oh damn. So I've got a hundred thousand now? Cool. Now let's go take that title off his ass. This is rematch for you beating me in that non-televised match. Bring it. <laughs> let's do this, guys. It's gonna be the match of my fucking stream here. The match of the season. Let's go. <laughs> let's fucking go. I'm gonna win this belt. I don't care. Take some <laughs> to my dying breath. I'm gonna dry off my sweaty hands now. We're about to kick his ass. I'm getting that belt one way or another. I don't care. It's mine. It's fucking mine. The soup. Two up, two down. Leon Harris, baby. We got this. I got my game face on, man. <laughs> it leads up to all this. Let's go. Let's win this belt. <laughs> Y'all can tell I'm hyper right now. <laughs> I've had enough of his bullshit. Oh yeah, it's time to win my first title. Let's do this, guys. Five episodes later, here we go. This is it. This is fucking it. I'm giving it my all in this one. Fight to win. Fight to damn it win. Fuck you, Damien.
Oh my goodness. I'm about to get my revenge. I'm about to get all of it out of me. You know, putting through all this bullshit throughout this episode. This is it, buddy. This is it. I'm pissed. <laughs> you fucked with the wrong one. I'm taking that title. <laughs> Fuck you and your glitter. I'm gonna rip your damn extensions out. Oh my god, I'm ready to fuck you up. Let's go. Let's get on with this damn match. I don't want to like hit the skip button because I know they're gonna do the NXT type of uh, intro. I hope they hopefully they do the um, spotlight thing. I don't remember if that game does this or not. We'll find out now. Introducing the challenger from Virginia, weighing in at 240 pounds, Leon Harris. Let's do this, baby. And introducing the champion from New York, New York, weighing in at 249 pounds. He is the NXT North American champion, Damian Giving it my all by any means necessary. That's going to be my title by the end of this damn episode. Let's do this, guys. Let's fucking do this. <laughs> Bitch. Fuck you, I can kick too. I'm gonna get your ass fully back for everything. You embarrass me, you fucker. <laughs> In front of the execs, talking about they're fans of Damien. Well, I'm making them into fans of me now, motherfucker. Come here. Hold on, okay, enough taunting. Come here. Move, Corey and Cole. Sick of your shit. Fuck you. And your lame ass tattoos, oh shit. Ah, dickhead. This is why you were never Ring of Honor champion. You were just a television champion, you fucking loser. I'm taking that ass today. Oh. Uh. Get your ass in this ring. It leads up to this, baby. Get your ass in there in this ring. Let's go. Come on. The fans want it. I want it. Let's go. Stop circling. Get your ass in here. Oh, yeah. That's what you stepped into. You've awakened the fucking warrior in me, motherfucker. I will be your equalizer today. Oh, yeah. Get up. Now. Think you're Razor Ramon? That's cute. Fuck you. And your shitty fade. Asshole. I meant it when I said I'm giving it my all. I don't give a fuck. Shit. That's fine. Shit! I missed the fucking reversal. You ain't doing a damn thing to me. Fuck you. How you like them apples, bitch? I know this ain't it. Punk ass. Nah, you done put me through some shit, boy. I ain't done with you. I am not done with you. I'm gonna royally fuck you up. 
Get out the damn ring. Come here. I meant it when I said I'm giving it my goddamn all. You pissed me off. <laughs> Come here. The audacity. <laughs> Word. This is how I feel about that. Ah, motherfucker. Bad Bunny doesn't even like you. Oh, yeah. Damn right. Bitch. You wanna try that again? Nice try. Lariat, bitch. I think it's time, guys. Let's go and win this title. Ugh. Equalizer. Oh, you bitch. Okay. Okay. Damn. You attempted that and failed. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's like I... Ugh, had that up my sleeve, huh? Get your big ass up. Equalizer! Give me my title. Dang, dang. Oh, yeah. Damn right. Here is your winner. Give me it. Yes, sir. The soul. All right, guys. Thanks for watching episode five. This has been Leon Harris with the rise of Leon Harris here on WWE 2K22. Catch you later.